Hi guys, welcome back to part five of the Little Toadstool Restoration. I'm your faceless voice from the under. Yeah, what a load of rubbish. <laughs> Anything for a giggle. Okay guys, well you were with me in, um, in part four. And I don't know if you remember in part four, we um, spent quite a bit of time. It was a long one. Although I'm hoping this one, this one might actually be as long, but I'm hoping it's not going to be as long. We spent all last time putting all the detail in the grass. Now, I'm sorry about how dark it is. Unfortunately, it's raining outside and it's come over really dark, which means I've lost all my natural light. And I'm doing my absolute best to light up with a lamp. Um, just... Just pity the old girl, all right? Right. Anyway, so we put all this... Let me zoom in so you can see, if we can. Have to put your glasses on as well. We put all of this in. And then we did the platform for the Lucite flower uh, base there. And we put terracotta pots in and all of that. Now, this, I'm hoping, is going to be the last bake. I've got a few little bits I need to bake and then get that baked and then come back and I've got a few bits to glue on. So, let's crack on. What we're going to do today is we're going to put the wall detailing and some flowers on here. Um, I'm going to put some wall detailing in with this stuff. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Once again, it's a Fimo clay, and this particular one is called granite. Now, certain different type, well, different uh, granite, the Fimo granite, uh, depends on the batch that you buy, depends on how dark it is. This particular batch has come through really dark. Um, I'm going to put some mica powder over the top to lighten that up, but we're going to put... Um, what look like little house bricks on the outside of our house. Now let's come out. I've actually put my house on a box this time so you can see. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. Hang. Oh, blah. <laughs> no, it's gone. Right. So it's a little, I don't know how big we're going to want these. We're not going to want them too big. So but these are not measured in any way. They're not anything. They're like little thingies of clay. Now, in the country, I don't know what it's like in the States or other countries here, but in the UK, we have a romantic idea of what cottages look like. Now, my idea of the perfect cottage is a pale yellow cottage with a beautiful, beautiful white trim and these little stones on the outside of the house. I know, I know, I know. You're either face palming and thinking, oh my word, or you're totally there with me. Hopefully it's the latter. Right, hang on, before I do anything, I need some glasses because I <laughs> can't see right here we go oh there we go that's better right here we are right now let's have a look at our house going to put some here you just dot them around relatively random you don't want them too big, you don't want them too little. I've got a horrible feeling that one might be too big. Yeah, that's too big. Too big. That's all right. We'll just leg a little off. Start again with it. They're only it's only subtle detailing. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. There we are. Give the top a stroke. I forgot to mention that because you could end up with a fingerprint in your work. Mm. I don't know about you, but I hate fingerprints. Okay. I still think that's too big. Not too big, but too chunky almost. Do you know what I mean? 
Mine's supposed to be subtle. I really do need to sort out some music. That awkward silence is awful, isn't it? It makes me jibber. Oh, that's better. Okay. Right, let's straighten that up. Although I'm not particularly anal about such silliness, I do like things to be square. If a square's a square, it's a square, not a... That's it. Right, let's have that on. Nice. Still too big? No, I think that's fine. Let's get a couple more on. I might speed this one up now you know what it is that I'm doing. I'll see you in a sec. So that is the like the flagstones put on. Now they look very dark, they look a little out of place. So with this paintbrush here, I'm gonna add a little bit of mica. Now I don't use expensive mica, I'll tell you what I use. I use, wait for it, children's cheap eye makeup. Yep, you heard me right. And all I do and believe me, it works. All I do is scrub that very gently into the top layer. You see that? 
How much of a difference is that? It's a huge difference, isn't it? It looks so much nicer. Now, I've covered this one in liquid females. This was probably a, a bad idea. Oh, there you are. Look, see? Every day is a school day. Now, that works fine. There we are like that. There you go. Okay. Okay, do you know what? I think that'll do us on that for the minute. Now, what I'm going to do is also, I'm going to, on here, I'm going to make some small flowers to go in there. Now, these are quite easy. I'm just going to, uh, where is that hand gel? I'm going to clean my hands because it's a colour change and I don't want to transfer any of that silver or granite onto the next colour. Okay, now. Right. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to do one and then I'm... Whoops, here's, sorry guys. I'll show you how to do one and then I'm going to move on and do it on at speed. Alright, now this is um, baby pink. Made out of scraps, so it would have been warmed up. Well, I'm actually going to make little roses. It's been a while, so I'm hoping I remember. Yeah. Flatten it out in your fingers. And then you need to sort of roll it. If I can. Oh my word, it's been so long since I've made flowers, made anything really. The state of my nails. Look at those. Look. Next job on my list to do. There we are. That's what we want. A little curl. Yeah, it's a little curly rosebud. Now you want to keep the base and keep. Ooh, sorry. You want to keep the base there and the flower top. And then place those in there. Yeah, lovely. Right, I'm going to make the rest at speed and I will see you in a minute.
Okay guys, just in case you were wondering what it was that I was doing there, um, what I'm doing is the same as what I did the last time with the silver and the flagstones. I'm just placing a tiny little bit of pink eyeshadow in the centre of those flowers, just to give them a bit of depth really, make them look a bit prettier. Now, yeah. wonderful. Right. Just want to do a couple of little bits around here and then we might just bake this baby and finish the rest of the blue in and then do you know what I think we will be done hurrah oh, I will miss it I miss crafting I don't do it very much anymore There we go. Uh, a little bit under there, I think. Right. There we go. Yeah, right. I think we'll bake this baby. And then, oh, do you know what? I think we are very, 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 very nearly finished. Oh, right. Okay, let's get this baked and I will see you in a minute. And we're back. Right. Fresh from the oven. Fresh from the tropical oven. It's warmer in the oven than it is in my house. Warmer everywhere except in my blooming house at the moment. Right. Okay. 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 Right. Enough of the complaining. Right. Let's do this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to... Put our lucite flowers back. Right, okay. Now, before we glue these buttes on, we need to trim our sticks, our ball head pins. Do you remember these babies? Yeah. Quite long, do you remember? Right. So we're going to need to trim them down. I'm not going to trim loads off, we're going to trim a little bit and it's better to trim a little bit at a time than it is to just go full wackadooey in there because if you end up going chopping too much off then you've wasted yourself a head pin and that's pointless really. So let's trim a little bit off and we'll test it for size and see if it fits. Now I'm going to want a raspberry coloured one that in there I still think that's going to be too long but we don't know let's get that in the little hole if we can can't even see the hole oh yeah just a little bit just a little bit we're almost there though almost there just a little bit more yes can you see what I'm doing there let me see Right, a little bit. There we are. Let's have that off. Oops. Let's put that in the hole. Like so. Push it in and have a little look. Now, <laughs> because we're using different lucite flowers, the same but slightly different, that means they're not going to fit as snugly in that hole as what I would have liked in the beginning but don't worry about that you know it happens I think we need to take a little bit more off that yeah just a smidge or widgel uh hang on right take that out of there we just need a almost like a gnat's whisker off that just like that just a little bit Okay, that's going to end up so short in a minute, I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to hold it. Yeah, get that in the hole. There it is, perfect. Just like that. 
So you trim stuff and then you put that in there. Put it in the hole like that. Now, and that's lovely. That's once I've glued that, that won't move around nearly as much. Right, then you repeat that process for all of the lucite flowers. It can be quite time consuming, so I shall do the next little bit of speed and I'll see you at the end. Right, okay guys, we're going to glue some of these things in. I'm going to, for this case, I'm going to use good old fashioned super glue. And I was going to go all the way through and glue as at the end. But do you know what? Ooh, that's going to drip absolutely everywhere. Hang on a minute. A little cloth. That's it, but there's no point putting it off. We'll just do it now, shall we? Right, so we're going to put a little blob of super glue on the end of our stick, yeah, and a little bit on there. Now, the reason is we're going to use super glue is because we are technically adhering plastic, but we're also adhering metal as well. Now, ideally, in an ideal world, a two-part epoxy resin would have been better for this job but that can also potentially take a really long time to dry and that's okay if you want to wait a long time for that to dry i necessarily don't actually want to wait that long i want this to actually just be finished with like now so a two-part epoxy probably would have been better but we are going to use a super glue all right so i'm going to finish the rest of that at speed and i'll see you in a moment
Okay guys, nearly done. I'm going to do these ones off camera. I don't think I need to do them in front of you because you already know what it is that I'm up to. And I will get those glued in and then there's a couple of other little bits and pieces that I actually want to do that I will do on camera and I will see you very, very shortly. All right, go make a brew and um, I'll see you in a minute. Oh, well, man alive. What a job and a half this is. Right, well, we are so close to finishing. Right, we've got all of these little lucite flowers are now in. And our bottle is there. And there is our uh, bench. More flowers. I wish I could show you this in a much better light. I'm so, so disappointed I ran out of time to get this done today in the light. Such a shame. But, right, we've just got a couple of little bits and pieces to do. Um, <laughs> just before I put this in the oven, one or two of my little crystals actually fell off. So we're going to put some of those back. So my big bally crystal that was there fell off. We're going to put a new one in its place. <laughs> Come back. Right, here we are. Oh, look at that. Stuck to my thumb. <laughs> oh no, never muck around with super glue. Right. Oh my goodness me. up my scrappy stick it'd be super useful here it is just a head pick pick up a little blob of glue and then put that in the center of our daisy remember we're gonna have to work quite quickly because super glue dries really quickly what I've done is I've put a piece of blue tack on the end of my pickup stick and I'm gonna use that to just pop that in the middle of our daisy. Now, with a bit of luck, that will get off of our blue tag. Oh my goodness me, that's not working, is it? Why is that not working? I hate super glue. I really do hate super glue. Our gemstones have stuck to me now, look. Right, hang on, hang on a minute. Let's get our act together here and see if we can't do this without mucking around. Okay, let's start again. There it is. There it is. There it is. Whoop, there it is. It's in there. Like that. Now we're going to go around and I'm going to do all of those. All right, I'm going to do them at speed. And when I've done that as well, I'm also going to go around and I'm going to put some random ones all over the toadstool. So I'll do that at speed and I'll see you at the end.
Oh, guys, we have finished. I am so pleased with how this piece has turned out. It's beautiful. In actual fact, I think this has actually turned out better than the original. Now, I did actually just do a very, very quick slowy for you to see what we've got. See there, we made a little fairy dust jar. And that lid comes off so you can enjoy that. And then you've got these crystals. Those crystals are so pretty. If you can see them. I use these a lot again in my crafting. Tiny little diamondy type things. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my daughter. She's doing tap dancing in the in the other room with her teacher while I'm in here talking to you guys. So I'm going to ring off very shortly. I'm going to spend a really lovely Easter Easter Saturday. Well, it's not quite Easter, but she's dressed up as the Easter bunny right now for a tap class. So we're going to join a really lovely weekend together as a family. There we are. Now this is our toadstool. Now thank you so much for watching you guys. This toadstool, the restoration alone, has taken 15 hours. Such a long time. But I think it was worth it. So let me know in the comments below what you think of our toadstool. Now hopefully we'll get another restoration done very, very soon. Thanks for sticking by, guys. Take care now. Bye.